welcome to another day of the prayer and fasting daily devotion of the lighthouse church colossians 3 1-3 goes on to read like this since then you have been raised with christ set your hearts on things above where christ is seated at the right hand of god set your minds on things above not on earthly things for you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God when Christ who is your life appears then you also will appear with him in glory life in the spirit greetings to all in the name of Jesus Christ set heart on things above holiness without holiness no one can see God righteousness Jesus is our righteousness so because of Jesus we are also righteous let the love of god and love of jesus christ transcend everything that matters to us and to our neighbor let the peace of god that passeth all understanding surpass everything on this earth set mind on things of above godliness living it is for godliness that christ has purchased us from the wretchedness of sin and it is for his faithfulness because god is faithful christ is faithful the holy spirit is faithful we are required to be faithful with our fellow believers around us and people those who are in darkness to bring them into the light seek things of the holy spirit the law of the holy spirit has set us free from the law of sin and sinfulness because of jesus christ and because of the holy spirit we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus so let nothing on this earth separate us from the love of Christ let not anything pertaining to the flesh to the sinful nature take us away from the love of Christ because it is for godliness that he has purchased us it is for holiness he has washed us and it is for righteousness that he has brought us into the light shall we pray for this transformed living Heavenly Father, I pray, O God, this day, let the transformation that you have given us through Jesus Christ be instilled in our heart and in our mind and in our spirit as we lead, as we live our life. In Jesus' name, Amen. In transformation life, it's all about God. It's all about God's will. It's all about the word of God that is written for us. as we read as we obey as we do as it is written in the scripture then we'll fulfill the greater command the greater commission on this earth because when jesus is going to appear we will be with him and that is the hope of christ jesus in this life on earth so let the life in the holy spirit lead and guide us through in all course of our living on this earth live life according to the fruit of the holy spirit see all things from the fruit of the holy spirit stay blessed and be blessed in jesus name amen